Welcome back guys. This is episode number four. In this episode, we will actually finish the login sign up page, which is here called the forum. So between this episode and the last episode, I've done some refactoring, which is very, very simple. So all I've done is I have copied everything that we had before here to make uh, this uh, form. I just copied it to a component called sign up form and put it in components. And I have also made another copy in which I have removed the first, removed the first name, the last name, and the divider, and changed a little bit here for this to call to say login and this to be welcome home. So now we have two components. We have a component called login form that shows this, and another component called sign up form that shows this. All right, very simple. I just didn't want to do it on uh, on the video because it's just so simple. So if you're following up with the Git repo. Once you check out the commit that says the app, uh, so if you're following up with the Git repo, once you check out the commit that says start of episode four, you should be good to go where the refactoring has been done for you. So now what I have here is a simply, I just imported both these components and I'm just displaying them as they are. But this really looks, of course this looks really very, but this looks really bad. So let's fix a couple of things. So first of all, instead of just sending these in uh, React fragments, I'm going to wrap these in a box. A box is a component that comes from Chakra UI. And the box is the component that will take uh, all the props, all the style props and all the other things that Chakra UI can give. So basically, this is the simplest component to give you a div that you can work with and change everything in. So the first thing I will do is I will actually give this a background and for that I will just give it gray 200 and I will also give it a fixed width so 350 pixels of course sorry that it will be 350 pixels just a random width for now and if I save this now you will see that uh, the inputs will expand to fill up the whole thingy and that div right now doesn't have any padding on it and things look really really cramped so let's give it some padding there so i will give this guy a padding of three in this case that will be three times four which is 12 pixels remember we talked about this before and i will also give this guy of some box shadow just to give it small box shadow so this has a small box shadow and this has a small box shadow and once you hover here this will actually lift up a little bit so you can kind of communicate the depth of the design to the user and the last thing also, I'm going to um, give it some uh, rounded border radius. So I'll give it large border radius. Okay, good. Now to pick up from here, I want to show some kind of a logo for the website that we're making. And for this, I'm going to import a component called image from the same from Chakra UI. I think they have imported it. Nope, they have not. Okay, so let me import it manually. So let's do that. So I'm importing image here. And in the source of the image, I already have an image in uh, public. So you can uh, use that if you're following up from the GitHub repo. Otherwise, you can do uh, any image that you want. And this image is called security.png. I save that and the image is absolutely way too big. So I'm going to limit this with an 80 pixel width. So that will just make it smaller. And you can see now that the image is really not in the middle, which we don't like. So I'm going to make this margin in the X axis, which is left and right. And in this case, I'll just give it auto. So that will center it in the middle. And of course, it's very, very close to everything from below it and on top of it. I don't like that. So I will give it a margin on the Y axis of, say, maybe six. So 24 pixels uh, on top and 24 pixels below. All right, so this is just really, really basic structure. Now, of course, we don't want to show both the sign up form and the login form at the same time. And for this, I am going to be using tabs. So this is just to explore different components that uh, Chakra UI is, um, is kind of like making available for you. And for this, I'm going to kind of just follow the documentation here. So I need a component called tabs. So I'm just going to import that. And inside this, we have a tab list that will show the tabs that you can change from and tab panels that will actually show the content itself. Simple. So what I'll do here is I will do uh, a tab list component. So again, I'm just using the auto import function in VS Code and then uh, two tabs. So I will just import tab as well. And one tab will be called sign up and I can copy that and paste it. 
and the other tab will be called login all right no problem let's move on to uh, the tab panels so I want to import the tab panels and inside there we will have two tab panel singular yep one of them will have the sign up form sign up form and another tab panel another tab panel singular again this one will have the login form the login form so I save this and I go back to the local host and I can see that I can now switch between this form and that form now you can see this is not the most uh, most pleasing when it comes to looks so we can change that by playing around with uh, the variants that are offered by the tab component so the tabs component offer around six variants here so when you go to tabs you can change the variant so for this I'm just gonna go into this main component and I'm gonna uh, call up the variant prop and here you can see all the options we have enclosed enclosed colors and so on so you can play around with these i feel comfortable using um, enclosed colored but you can see here the taps that are really kind of like aligned to the left hand side i don't like that so i want them to use the whole space and for that i'm just going to pass a prop that's called is fitted okay that looks all right now i don't like the fact that this is really really smooshed here there's no space so in the tap panels component i'm just going to give it margin on top of uh, six I think it was four four or six I'm just trying to follow up whatever the space that we have here in the stack so let me go back to the stack quickly yes yeah, spacing is three so I'm gonna give this mount um, margin top of three so we just match up with the rest of the look and you can see here that we do have a divider somewhere here but the divider really doesn't show anymore because the color of the divider is the same with the color of the div and when I go to uh, dark mode, things get really, really messed up simply because uh, the background of the div doesn't change. I'll fix that in a second. But before that, I want to fix uh, the color of the divider first. So for this, I'm just going to go back to my sign up form component. And here on this divider, I'm just going to change the border color prop to gray.300. So a little bit darker from the background. Yes, so now it shows up a little bit. Now let's go back here and I want to fix the um, color here on the box. So for this, I'm going to do like I did before. I will do this const color mode equals use color mode and they will be automatically imported. Save that and then I will say that if color mode, uh -huh, if color mode equals light if color mode is light uh, if color mode is light then give this uh, oopsie gray dot 200 and if it's dark give it gray dot 600 okay let me go back to the dark mode now and yep this looks way much better i also don't like the spacing around um, the whole tab here i want to give it a little bit of margins so if i go to tabs here i'm going to give this margins of four Yes, a little bit more compact and a little bit more margin to the sides makes it look much better now. Yes, so this looks all right. So I can now have the uh, sign up form and I can also have the login form. And that's basically it. It depends what you want to do with this. So you can actually change this. I think this can go up to seven. Of course, the seven still doesn't look very pleasing to me. Let's just do a little bit more visual separation there at 40 pixels. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, that looks good. So now we have the sign up form and we have the login form and everything as I said before is compatible with dark mode and also everything is 100% accessible. So you can change the tabs using your tap uh, button from the keyboard and you can play around with this as much as you can and everything works just right out of the box. And that is the magic of Chakra UI. Thank you guys for following so far and I will see you guys in the next episode.